Doctors and nurses, medical and dental aides, and other caregivers at Community Health Services are mobilizing their community. Since last year, they fought for fair contracts that would empower them to provide their patients with quality care. It's good to have people who are making a decent living and decent wages to live in this city. And, and prices go up every year, and so it's very hard, especially with me with four, four children. So it's very hard for us. I think it's reassuring to know that the community supports what we do here. We treat really sick people every day, people with not a lot of social capital, and they rely on us for their health care. They have nowhere else to go. The community is supporting the caregivers at CHS, coming out to demonstrations, rallies, and most recently, a teach-in and candlelight vigil. In the spirit of Dr. King tonight, the fight for 15, and the movement for Black Lives Matter, and our union sisters and brothers are hosting this teaching, followed by a resistant march to end racism and raise pay. My parents taught my seven brothers and myself that all things are possible when we come together as a community. That's what we're here to tell the CEOs here. Join us in demanding dignity, respect, and fairness for the caregivers at Community Health Services.